Hello everybody, welcome back to Arc Shorts. Today we're going to be talking about the one and the only Bronto. These guys have a lot of torpor, so I recommend using an ascendant long neck or close to an ascendant long neck. And these guys move very, very, very slow. So actually, I'm just going to represent this right now. You can actually just hop on the ground and just run. Run away from them, and this guy will not be able to hit me. That was pretty close, he went in for an attack, but they have to stop moving to attack. So you can actually get pretty good distance if you let them try and hit you, but I don't recommend that. They have a very long range attack, so yeah, just be wary of that. Oh, and this guy's already running. See how easy that was? The kibble for these guys is extraordinary kibble. Um followed by crops, followed by measure berry, followed by the rest of the berries. And these guys are very long teams. And I mean very, very long teams. These guys will take forever to tame. They will take forever. So, I think that Tyrandon was 150. <laughs> PvE-wise, there isn't much about these guys. Uh, they have a very long range attack, and they do a significant amount of damage, and they're very tanky. But they move extremely slow. Look at that's, and they get to gather a lot of thatch and a lot of berries. And now, and I'm, let me see if I can get it here. Oh, I don't think I can. But if you miss the first time with the tail swipe, when the tail comes back, uh, that also does damage. Now PV. P-wise, these guys are one of the best creatures. Or not one of the best. They are pretty good. I wouldn't say they're in the top 10. But they're, they're pretty good for PvP. They're tanky, they have a lot of health. And they can do a significant amount of damage. But they're very not sneaky at all. They make a lot of noise and are pretty easy to see. Because, you know, they're huge. But if you get a good saddle on them, these guys can be really good. Um, they also have ability, this saddle is, as you can see, huge, so when you lie down, you can actually crouch inside the saddle and hide from pteranodons or things that are trying to pick you up. And you can also do large jukes, like so, because not only are, do you teleport back onto the saddle, but you can jump off like that and then teleport back on the saddle. Jump off like that, teleport back on the saddle. Jump off like that, teleport back on the saddle. And it works every time. You can also use it to get high up off the ground. From the ground, so you can stand on them. That's really all you need to know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.